Yes, indeed, Music and I. Back then, he was known as Havoc Man. I know him as Mario Gray, but the world is about to know him as something else. Havoc Gray. Uh-huh. Havoc Gray. Havoc Gray. Yeah, Havoc Gray. Yeah. Havoc Gray. Yeah. Music and I, tell us about this phase of your life, man. I mean, we know you've come, you've repackaged and you've come again. Mm-hmm. Let us uh, know about the, you know, the phase of, you know, your music uh, career during this span with this song right here. You know, like most teenagers growing up in Cayman, um, you know, I was in a very um, experimental stage of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, marijuana use was something that was a big critical part of me in my creative element in terms of making music. Now, the stigma behind the drug and all of that allowed me to be seen and put into this box of a a terrible youth or somebody who was leading my peers astray. But all throughout that time, when that particular addiction, and I I can call it that now, you know, that was because it was a big part of how I created music. All throughout that time, I still felt something pulling me upwards, mm-hmm. and that was the the love of Almighty God. He was always there telling me, you're doing these things, but you are crediting your talent towards this. But I want you to know that it is me who lives inside of you that is bringing out this creative juice and this wonderful music that you're hearing so when you're hearing when my girl not like me i just music and i and when the pagans them are fight me i just music and i smoking upon the agri and my sipping for, you know mm-hmm. it's like it's it, it is it wants to turn into something else you can hear the, the little boy screaming inside me saying no i'm better than this but still that's the only way i could grab the ears of the masses by telling them my sins my flaws this is what i do and i know that a lot of us out there do this as well so that's the stage I was at when I created music and I. That simply means that, you know, people who are out there who are who went through the phase that you went through, mm-hmm. they can remove themselves from that phase. Absolutely. If you did it, they can do it as well. Absolutely. Love it, man. Love it. Mario Gray, mm-hmm. your career. Yes. Uh, did you always want to be a musician? Oh my, yes. Or did, always. Uh, versus versus uh, <laughs> you know the career that you hey. you had before. Well, the career I had before everybody knows me as Mario Gray, Cayman 27's Mario Gray at mm-hmm. that time mm-hmm. when I was a journalist, but that wasn't the beginning. That was far from the beginning. The beginning was as a little boy watching Larry King live, you know, with my dad every single evening, watching the suspenders, watching how fly he was and how, you know, he wasn't a tacky dresser but also He was a man of the people and in terms of not picking any sides, he was always the pure mediator in my eyes. So I wanted to be like Larry King so bad, but it's so funny. I wanted to be like Larry King and Shabarangs at the same time, (laughs) you know, because I was born in 91 Mm. and I'm turning on TV and hearing Shabba saying he's the lover man. And my daddy always playing music around me and saying, you know, this was his heroes. He was always attributing these artists as his heroes. So I listened to my dad show love for these guys. And of course, like any young boy, you want to impress your father. Very much so. But then I realized it wasn't just his love. It was also my love as well. I couldn't go throughout the day without listening to Vegas, without listening to Vibes Cartel, Mm -hmm. Bounty Killer. and uh, Those guys took hold of me. I heard something else that I knew other people did not hear and you know something you have lived both part of those dreams because absolutely. you did become you know you were working on, te- on television absolutely uh, a journalist mm. uh, and you are embarking on a musical career right now and mm. you've got music out there that mm-hmm. you know people can sing along to absolutely and can find you know rescue mm. in and that is the sure bet of living a dream mm-hmm. uh, many out there who aspire to do so has not done it but uh, you have done it so others are looking at you and they're hearing you this afternoon and mm-hmm. hearing the positive vibes that are coming out of you right and they're saying this man is the real thing the real deal right now what why should I follow Mario Gray aka Javi I mean, I would never tell anyone to follow me. That's what right, I would tell what I to you hear. know, I, I would tell you to just do what everybody else does. We are fans of each other. We that's look at each hear. other, and what we do is we tend to pick out the things of a person that we want to keep. 
and then we tend to shun the other things their flaws and say no i don't want to keep that though but if we want to truly accept somebody we have to accept the the totality of the person mm. you know the flaws and the the great things that makes that human being who they are you have to accept the whole package so don't follow me guys but watch my life because the lord is watching my life everybody is watching you also what do you want them to see when they watch you what do you want them to feel i'm a big person on feelings you know i'm an emotional guy i'm, I'm never swayed by the things i see mostly but the things i feel so you know this stage of my life that i'm right now i like to tell people like we joked when i walked in here mm. earlier i said look mario gray is a character i created mm. It's just another character I created. You would look at me and say, even, no, you're even crazy. Though, even though mom and dad gave you the name. Right, but it's just a character <laughs> I created because as human beings, we're so addicted to labels. Mm -hmm. We're addicted to, because that's how we make sense of this world. I am a soul occupying this world. I was always here before my you know, awareness of my existence. That is my true belief because that voice that I hear in my mind, when I close my eyes, I knew that voice was always there. I know that. So what, where does that come from? My spirit, my soul was always here. So me being aware of that now and saying, okay, let us call that soul Mario Gray. Let us, that soul was born in Jamaica. So let's call him a Jamaican. That soul was raised in the Cayman Islands. So let's say he was Caymanian raised. You see what I'm saying? These are the things that we do as human beings. We are addicted to simplicity. However, as time goes on, we are trying to stray away from simplicity. We're trying to make things more complex. You know, I am the best artist now because my videos look more complicated mm -hmm. or my lyrics sound more complicated. No, Christ did it best. Everything he did was through simplicity. The parables was the greatest way a man could ever change a person's life. This man is deep, and uh, you, I, I, I got I got to shake your hands live on the air, man. Uh, you, you you came in here as a younging. Uh, in Radio K Man, you mm -hmm. were an intern way back in the day. Don't want to 15 years old. 15 years old, at 15 years old. And to see what you've grown into and to hear you know, the product that you've given to me, to relate to the listeners on the radio, and for me to ask questions, to see what kind of answers are going to come out of your mouth, and then you're successful with the answers. Dude, you are it. Now let's talk about you know this new project that you're doing. Resurrection. Uh, Resurrection. Uh, the, the song that we're playing right now. Silent Takeover. Yeah, is, is is part <laughs> of the project, and <laughs> excuse me for calling you Mario, but Mario. Yes, boss. Man, when you gave me the song, <laughs> uh -huh. I was, huh? Is this the Mario that came in here at the age 15? Now look, that Mario that came in here at age 15, he always had this in him. But you know, thanks to great men like you know Kristen Saku, thanks to great men like Dr. Frank McField, you know these are guys that inspired me. Like I cannot even, you, I can't even express how much these guys mean mm -hmm. to me. You know, I remember the first time sitting down speaking with Dr. Frank, and he would tell me about you know be, the pride of being a black man and and who we are as a people and where we are going and and what that means to me as a young black boy you know we tend to differentiate ourselves from positivity based on how we look and that's not by coincidence so you know we need mentorship you know every child has greatness in them from that same 15 year old boy that you saw when i came in here potential yeah absolutely but mentorship joel mm -hmm. is, is 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 critical you know in in terms of folding that cocoon into the butterfly all right man T tell us about this project though uh silent takeover uh lyrical prophecy nature mm. uh tell us about this project uh you know how could people actually listen to these stuff? How can they, you know, are you selling music or are you just... I am not. Or is it a ministry? Or it's what, what, a ministry. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely a ministry. You know, I, I this these songs, I could sell them for as much as I want. I know mm -hmm. that. I have international fans emailing me every single day, begging me to make this available for purchase, telling me they'll pay any amount of money to get it. And I'm saying, I went to bed one night and I said, this is not right, Lord. I said, this, this, is, this is your work this is this is for our generation it, i had to be here mm -hmm. somebody had to rise up and have a different message not saying that there are not others out there like me there are many you know and to those who don't have the opportunity to sit with a joel right now i'm praying for you because your time will also come you get me there was a lot of prayers that went into this a lot of fasting which went into this a lot of sacrifice which went into this you know and resurrection is all about a removal from the past a removal from the past life that's why i gave you my sins 
on home improvement my first mixtape to show you that i have to improve my home mm-hmm. you see that which is the body the temple that's what it meant while also playing on the the the, the notion that cayman as a home needed to be improved musically yes you i was to, playing you need, onto that you need to improve your home in order to improve others mm. others who you know mm. who, who are going through what they're going through but uh you can't be a minister and you know <laughs> your life is shady exactly you, you know you gotta have a clean right <laughs> so that's why resurrection represents that you know a turn so away from the old the the old dead the new has begun mm. and we, you know we, let's let, let's let the listeners right now take a listen to this track right here because uh, this is a deep track this is a deep track I, I thank you listen uh the interview right now has given me a different perspective of you, mm. <laughs> right? Uh, hearing the words that you're conveying right now. And I, I'm even seeing my co-worker over there and he's giving me the thumbs up listening to the interview. Mm. So, you know, let, let's let the listeners right now, just in case they haven't taken a listen to any of your music, the new music as yet. Right. Let's give them a chance right now to hear our lyrical, or is it silent takeover? Hey, let them hear lyrical prophecy. Why not? Well, or you want to let me come and hear a little piece of this one first, man. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Here we go. The man is in the studio, yeah. uh-huh. and he is uh-huh. going to be massive, no doubt about that one. Take a listen, K man. He's your own. Could have been anything, but became a lyricist. You can do what you do over that side. We'll keep it like this. The music was loud, 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 the takeover silent I move the crowd like taxi from Orchard to Miley These thoughts like cigarettes, I don't want to try them Some sheep are goat, some goat are sheep, every cup of a crime friend I don't tweak while you tweak, when your bars need tweaking The ambient sound from the ghetto was clicking Bodies dragging on the floor, and the hammer knocking and clicking the internet saved the hood, no more mouses clicking It's a different smell when a dead person raking That's not a dog, protect my dogs from all these weaklings Kirky get job while rich people stealing Mac put the wig on the GAB glass ceiling Them stone down your glass house when you talk the real things I'm frank like the duck, stern like Ezod when a yard is speaking My words take toll, but the strong bowl and the hungry eating no deal like Savings, labor control to keep on working. What you get don't reflect what you're generating. What you get don't reflect what you should be earning. Young whites love the blacks, old whites they hate it. Night is baby! The generation 18, perfect love dash for fear. You're welcome, my darlings. Uh. Some old and wise while the rest of us young and excited. The music was loud. Man, I feel bad just fading this track right here, man. I really feel bad just fading because someone's gonna be messing missing some sort of message. That's if true. you know what I mean, man. Yeah. Uh tell us about the uh, is it an EP? What what is it? Uh I understand it's a two set. Yes, it's a two project. disc mixtape. Right. You know, um easily could could have been an EP. However, you know, um I did use beats that weren't mine. I'm not ashamed of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> because you know as long as you give some love to whoever made of beat, course man, of man. course you know but but please shout out young kush you know he is he is our very own as well Caymanian as well resides in north side everybody knows young kush the best one of the best producers in Cayman. please shout out um sion richardson as well black gold productions those two guys are are very much responsible um for helping me on my journey musically those guys are amazing producers please came on make sure you pay attention to those guys big up big up to, uh, so the beat that we're listening to right now right this is young kush's young production kush, young kush yes production. Uh-huh. Uh, so, uh listen cayman islands we, we got to be proud of our you know our, our, our talents we, Absolutely. we got so much talents out there uh if it's not the lyric it's the beat i mm. mean so big up to all, all who you know assisted you in this in this project now listen uh, lyrical prophecy. Mm-hmm. Tell us where, where where that song came from, man. Oh my! I was at a sunken place, a broken place, a place where I said to myself, "Look, I need somebody to talk to." And I said, "The only person that I can speak to is me." Mm-hmm. And it, it was the weirdest place I've ever came to in my life. I wanted, I was craving for some form of love and feel like somebody meant what they were saying to me. And I have great parents. Mm-hmm. I have great friends. You know, like Freddie over there is my best friend right now. Freddie Diaz, shout out to Freddie. You know, but 
I just needed somebody who understood me. And the only person who could understand was, was God. So what he did was he said, look, close your eyes right now and just don't think about anything. And to anybody out there right now, let me tell you, that's the hardest thing for us to do as human beings, to think about absolutely nothing. But I guarantee you, if you practice it, you'll find healing. And what happened to me was he just took over me and he gave me this prophecy. And that's what you're going to play right now. All right, folks, uh, just take with now. We're not going to play the whole song right? okay. because, because of time. Right? <laughs> right, but of uh, we just want people mm. to hear, you know, you know where you're coming from sure. in terms of the music. Let's take a listen to this one right now. Uh, simply called. Yes. What, what, what is the title? Lyrical Prophecy. Lyrical. <laughs> listen, folks. This is K-Man This is Prophecy This is a young man And this is worth Of course, uh, supporting Wise and realize I was never poor. That kept you coming back the more my confidence soar. Me now to tell you who forgot to control is an illusion. Some people left without a chance, and now the world is in confusion. Why show off my wordplay and the knowledge that you crave? She wear with long pants, but that blouse misbehaves. Sometimes to capture opportunity, you have to step away. Yeah. Believe in yourself, the trips fall where I see. Some people say words don't mean nothing. The father have something to say. I pray I never become pressured by the world around me. The water you sound cool by the night. Get what you feel Lyrical prophecy This song represents my ordeal Bless mama hands for the wild chicken Ton corn meal My meals came from opportunity Mama dream work to achieve Without opportunity The ants won't eat As the birds always find food to hide in the tree So surely Father God I know you care about me Our days are numbered until eternity Opportunity stand and wait At my front door Make sure I'm well dressed To knock it dead on the floor It never came because I wait I had to know a lot more you never great when you stay, so she had to explore. I make a gift, make your trouble, over girl troubles. Not now run, that's opportunity for us. Three scores plus ten, I bring your opportunity double. My blessings took time, the fake ones came sudden. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Heavy. Good uh-huh. afternoon, Cayman Islands. Uh, if you just turned your radio on, man, we have the uh, lyrical prophecy in studio right now. We talk yep, about yeah. Mr. Havi. I would prefer have car trouble than girls trouble uh-huh. any day. Love that line right there, man. Love that line right there. Yeah. Today is Martin Luther King's day. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What kind of shape did Martin Luther put you in? Well, I remember the first time I read his letter to Birmingham jail. Well, his letter from Birmingham jail. I mean... This was when, because you know, everybody, everybody, you know, as a black person, we grew up thinking, especially as young black men, oh, I love Martin Luther King, but you mm-hmm. don't really know anything about exactly. him. But that one piece of reading was enough for me. And long story short, this is one quote I could never forget. He said, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And you know, when I read that in his letter and I saw that he was writing this letter to clergymen, other pastors who also had the same profession as him. But these pastors still didn't feel the love that he needed, you know? He was all about silent protests and non-violent protests. And here is a man that just could not find common favor with other people who were like him. So it, it just goes to show that, you know, sometimes you have to be crazy enough. You have to be willing to be alone in order to, to, to affect change. And I'll lastly say this, it's unfortunate that we remember him, you know, based on his death. And unfortunately, we don't focus on where we are today because without him, you see, me, mm-hmm. we wouldn't be here. You know, the civil rights movements and all of that. So people should really not focus on the death of Martin Luther King, but focus on these freedoms that we have now and understand that that, that far exceeds, you know, his demise. Talk to the young people right now, Mario. You know, you, you, again, you, 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 you've been there. You've done that, uh, mm. you know, good, bad. Mm. But, uh, you know, before we went on the mic, we spoke about talking to the young people of the Cayman mm. Islands. But uh, say a word right now, man, you know, to the young people right now that will make a difference. Love. Love somebody. You know, I mean, you see, forgiveness, it's something that is killing us right now as an island. You know, I have friends in prison right now. I have so much love for them. 
and 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 these guys are great guys you know you can't go through northward right now and find one person who is evil i don't care what they have done every man is just a man every woman is just a woman and what is affecting us is we can't feel that we have any hope of redemption that is what allows sin and and and, and murders and stealings to continue this feeling that we have no hope of redemption but i tell you we have the keys to our own redemption all we have to do is let go of whoever we're hating even if it's ourselves love love is the answer my brothers and sisters trust me it sounds simple but just practice it and remember clear our minds by thinking about absolutely nothing we have too much distractions we have too much people we're trying to impress we have too much people we're trying not to impress you know what i'm saying we're in other words we need to start focusing a little bit more on ourselves heavy heavy messages thank you very much for that man nature Let's oh. talk about nature right now. Another song from the yes. project. Yes. Uh, sort of slipping out of time right now, mm. but uh, tell us about nature right now. I mean, for, for me, I, I would say it's one of the best songs I've ever created. This is me coming to grips that beauty to me is, is not tall buildings and skyscrapers, but beauty to me is large green fields and things that, you know, Jesus and God himself already created. You know, nature, things that will come here that find us fulfillment. So this was my realization of that, you know. I love nature, you know, your pictures suck, so I gaze at the sky and blush, you know, you know that's what that line means, you know, so we, we love the things that we create, but what about the things that we already came here and saw? I like to say life is a hamster wheel, you know, you know, we're, we, the, the wheel was already spinning and then we just drop on the wheel, you get me? We didn't create the wheel, it was already spinning and then we just drop on it and then it just, we just run with it and that's what life is. Heavy nature who's uh -huh. doing the uh, vocals on this one? Oh, this is me this oh, is you, all me you're, you're doing yes. this yes. this guy is so creative I'm, I'm thinking it was somebody else that was doing the vocals let's take a listen right now nature me too but why does it matter if your buildings get in front of but your kids on your organs really not knowing proper some improper staring in the eyes and telling the truth without the prompter when I was growing up I thought the country or Nova Scotia that I'm kinda grown up I think the banks own Jamaica for highways we traded out lush acres Why? Gave up on the farms And gave in to the Asians Damn. I'm like the this people pre social studies from day one I'm Michael Banley's great son There you go, the great debate done Oh, oh, oh Nature every time Yeah, yeah Oh, oh, oh I'm choosing nature every time Every time, natural breezes. Oh, 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 think it's time that we unwind. Positive Monday, nature running out of time, but uh, listen, okay, like the impact stays with us. This interview this afternoon, no doubt about it, man. No doubt about it. Tell us about the project one more time, and uh, you know how can people hear this project, and uh, what is your aspiration beyond the project? My aspiration is, you know, I'm not just a lyricist, I'm not just a musician. You know, I'm a leader of men and women, and my time will come. Believe me, you know, just don't forget this day because I won't. Joel, many thanks to you, my brother. Ever since I was 15 years old, you have been a, a key component in my life. Even Dean, who is standing right in here right now, the engineer. You know, all you guys. I love all you guys. Silver Fox, you know, Miss Norma McField. Um, thank you to Miss Paulette Connolly Bailey. You know, all these people are special people in my lives because you all gave me an opportunity as a young man. And here I am years later getting to speak about my projects. And, you know... Guys, this is not the end for me. This is my second ever mixtape and I have so much more music to give. I always joke about how Biggie is the greatest, but Biggie only have two albums. So, it's not just about music for me. It's all about leading my people, leading my generation and, and not with words, but with actions. The project now? The project, guys, as simple as you can ever get it. SoundCloud. I'm not going to make it more complicated. <laughs> I'm, I embrace simplicity. So if you want to hear Have a Great Music, go to SoundCloud.com. Check out my Twitter. You know, I'm not going to broadcast my Twitter. I'm going to see who really wants to find me. He's going to say, hey, don't let them Google it. <laughs> Google? Come on, that's too much work, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Make it easy for them? Okay. Make it quite easy, man. At H-A-V-O-K underscore M-A-N-N. -N. 
All okay, right. Havoc Man. Yeah. Havoc Man. Right. Yeah, 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 I, I, I that's the that's the old name. It's oh, Havoc Gray. I was now. wondering because yes, you... I'm Havoc Gray. <laughs> okay. The Havoc the Havoc days are done, guys. You know, but remember the, the label. I have to shout out to our personal label um, right now, being run with myself and Kid Sativa, Francisco Hernandez, another local Caymanian artist. Look out for him. We are we are known as Havoc Squad Crew of Intellects. Sativa right now he is you know a, a, a law student who is doing his masters. I'm a journalism student, so we're putting together our intellect, you know, to, to make sense of this little world of ours. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, Mario, one more time. Mm-hmm. I, I, this is the second time I'm shaking your hand on yes, the interview. Uh, maintain what yes. you're doing. Uh, you have impressed me. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've known this guy bef- way before even putting him on, on the mic, but I, I got a different perspective on the mic this afternoon. Huh? And uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keep inspiring, you know, those young people out there. You know, Thank you, uh, sir. Like you said, you've been there, you've done that. Uh, many that you've done it with are mm. still out there, you know, mm. doing their thing. And uh, I'm hoping that, you know, even listening to this interview this afternoon, they will be converted. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, uh, so leave a final message right now to your people here in the Cayman Islands. Love. L-O-V-E. Love. Simple Love. as that. Uh huh. Thanks for coming through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much success up and coming. This is the man, Mario Gray, aka Havy, aka, well, was known as Havoc Man. <laughs> this one's called Nature, guiding us into the four o'clock hour. Oh, 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 think it's time that we unwind. Okay, I like the balls, but look behind that all the sunset hit off the palms. The rum and doodles, man, college days, we call this rums.